what is demand creation. In this video, I'll give you a big picture view on the demand sales methodology and the lean philosophy behind it. And especially on the first stage of the methodology, demand creation stage, and how you can prime your teams to start creating demand in your niche. So what is demand creation? It's simply creating demand instead of waiting for it. How to then start creating demand? By talking to your customers. Simple, yes. Powerful, yes. Difficult, hmm. Well, it depends on how you define difficult. Obviously, just talking noise doesn't make any sense when it comes to talking to our customers. We all hate unnecessary noise. But when you first capsulize your grand vision and your unique value prop from your strategy and tailor it to your niche, second, take that capsule and curate it into an even shorter personal email and LinkedIn message format. Third, mass distribute the message using automated email and LinkedIn outbound tools. Fourth, document the results, analyze daily and iterate the messages weekly. And fifth, start expanding your audience, message, channels and content once you start hitting your milestones you get to start your demand creation process in the most agile, efficient, and most importantly, bulletproof way possible by throwing your summarized grand vision and value prop to your dream customer and inviting them to your journey from the beginning. If you haven't checked out my B2B marketing and sales strategy framework, you should watch that video too from the show notes. In essence, though, when revising, updating, or even creating the very first of your marketing and sales strategies, you want to get the first version done in a quick sprint and hit the market testing. Because you won't know if it makes any sense before you know, right? So we want to ASAP talk to our customers to hear if they understand it. Do they care? Do they see value in it? Are they interested in hearing more? Do they want to meet? Does it help them? Do they already have a better alternative? Do they block your number? ETC. Those of you involved in startups or in lean models in general probably quickly connect the dots of feedback-based versus isolated product building loop. If you're a founder, you know this cliche. It's easy to get sucked into the excitement loop of building your product and never telling anyone about it. After personally working with hundreds of startups and SMBs, we see the exact same phenomenon occur when it comes to marketing and sales. After your strategy work round is done, it's so appealing to start working on updating your brand, developing a new site, keep tweaking the brand film script, or building your content library, before actually asking or even approaching any of our clients if they are even interested in your new master idea. Perhaps it's fear of failure or even fear of embarrassment. Perhaps building marketing and sales channels and assets, assets is just more fun than talking to customers. Maybe it's not clear how and why to talk to customers instead of working on content for them to consume. You know what? To be honest, I'm not going to lie, I don't know. That's something I've struggled with and still struggle with too. Maybe that's maybe difficult part I referred to earlier, getting over ourselves and simply putting ourselves out there to start the discussion. But I know that starting that discussion will save you so much time and money and might just be the only way to get your grand vision into filling your pipeline and eventually generating that sweet, sweet revenue. In this video, we'll go a bit deeper into the fascinating world of demand creation but next, I'll quickly review the following demand stages so we have the big picture together. So the first stage is what we've already discussed here, demand creation. It starts with the dialogue with your ideal customer to understand how they react to your marketing and sales communication. And that's the very first stage of scalable growth. This stage is generally known as the demand creation stage, and it can be summarized as taking your grand idea and value prop and delivering it to your niche in the most efficient way possible. When does the demand creation stage stop? Never. 
we want to and we need to forever keep testing and pivoting our messaging. The goal here is to streamline the process and make it a seamless part of your growth system. The second stage is then demand capturing. After your niche is aware of your brand and your solution and also accepts it, at least as a real possibility, meaning they could spend time and money on it, it's time to start capturing that demand. At this stage, we help our customers to move closer to the purchase by providing them with valuable content, sharing customer testimonials with them, or sharing market insights that support choosing us and our solution. This stage can take a mighty long time, or it can be a fairly transactional, depending on the industry you're in. It usually involves real human sales reps, tailored offers, and at least video meetings, but we're very interested in automating this process as far as possible. More about the magic of sales automation soon, so make sure to follow this channel. The third and final stage of the demand sales process is then demand closing. And last, but arguably the most important stage, and meaning turning prospects into paying clients. If the previous stages were done correctly, this stage ideally is more than easy. It's ideally even dictated by the prospect. So if we do our job right, educate the prospect about the problem they have and our solution for it and give them enough supporting evidence that the time for action is now and with us, then it should be the client forcing our hand to take their money by now. But since our prospects are busy, people distracted with millions of other things, big and small, it is usually crucial for us to help them make the final decision. For this, we prefer a simple final decision call that is no more than 15 minutes long with the client or at this stage with the prospect. The decision call comes after we've met with all the key stakeholders, provided all the relevant information, answered all the questions and objections and ensured that everything is ready for both parties to move forward except the decision. So there might be quite a few emails, calls, shared links and meetings before the decision call, but that's the aim we have starting from the initial signal from the prospect that they understand and have the pain we talk about and want to solve for them. These are very briefly the three cell stages from a modern demand creation perspective. Once again, keep watching and we'll dive a lot deeper into all of these. But for now, let's stay for a moment longer with demand creation. As the name demand creation implies, the niche is not aware of the solution and ideally not even the problem you're about to solve for them. This would mean that you're operating in the wonderful blue ocean if there are no existing known solutions to the problem you're solving. But your target customer also might not quite understand your message yet either. And you know what? That's okay too. That's part of the process here, right? To take your grand vision, capsule it and test it with, with your audience as fast and as efficiently as possible. This is where creating demand for your product or service starts. So demand creation is the first five stages when you create awareness and itching interest in your niche towards your solution. To summarize the steps were, capsulize your grand vision and value prop, Curate it into a personal message, email or LinkedIn mail formats. Mass distribute the message to your target audience. Document, analyze and iterate daily and weekly. Expand audience messages, channels and content. In the next videos then, I'll go through all the steps in detail. I'll cover the tools, frameworks, technologies, how-tos and other best practices for all of them. But the previous run through for the demand sales methodology and the lean philosophy behind it is an important outline before talking too much shop. To be the first one to receive the next demand videos hot off the press, join the free demand creation and closing forerunner club, AKA the Create OS Club and get the weekly tips, tricks and shifts from the world of B2B branding, marketing and sales delivered straight to your inbox. You can join the forever free club at createos.xyz slash club. And if you're already ready to start creating your demand, book a completely free and non-biting 30 minute call with our creative strategist at createos.xyz slash demo. 
My name is Jonas Kyllianen. I am a father and aspiring athlete, the CEO and co-founder of Norders Creative Agency and the creator of the Create OS, the first demand creation and closing platform as a service for startups and small teams. I thank you so much for watching. Now let's do some meaningful marketing together.